Hey, this is Derek from KickFit. This is the Become Your Own Gym series. Today, you're going to learn how to use a Swiss ball to get a great core workout. Core meaning your, your abdomen, your obliques, and your low back. So first, uh, let's define how I want you to set the Swiss ball. When you get the ball, you don't want to actually inflate it all the way. You want to have it about three quarters inflation, so you have a little bit of compression here, a little give to it. And this will come in handy in just a few seconds. We'll see why. So the first exercise we're going to perform is going to be for the upper abs, a standard sitting crunch. So all you're going to do here is sit on the Swiss ball, sit back, either hands to the front or hands to the back, going back and all the way up. It doesn't matter if you secure your feet against the wall or not. If that makes you feel a bit more comfortable, go ahead and do that. You're going to perform as many reps as you need in order to feel a 7 out of a 10 using your RPE skill and refer back to the, uh, the first lesson on how to do that. Next exercise is going to be for your obliques. You're going to simply take the ball, place it now between your feet, squeezing the ball with your knees and your ankles. You're going to sit back halfway, come up, press your elbows into the ball, press your forearms into the ball on the opposite sides, and you can also do punches down to the ball and rotating. This is like the bow and arrow. And this is going to get three parts of your obliques, upper, mid, and lower, by pressing the elbows, upper, pressing the forearms, the mid, and punching nice and low and twisting as you do the lower part of your obliques. From here, we're going to move on to the actual lower abs. And all you're going to do is lie on your back, hands under your tush, drop the ball down, raise it back up, while you keep your chin tucked to your ch chest, and squeezing the ball the whole time. Do as many reps as you need to until you feel, again, a 7 out of a 10, and your lower abs engaged. From here, you'll bring it down. Finish the ab workout with a modified plank. Interlace your fingers, legs nice and wide. Straddling over the ball, press up as high as you can, hold that for as long as you can to finish your abs. Moving finally into your low back, you're going to lie on the ball, arms out in front of you, raise the opposite arm and leg as high as you can. Make sure you're dead center to the ball so you balance perfectly. And you're going to feel that in your low back. Another version is hands to the front and you're going to do a little dolphin flip here to work the low back. When you're done, simply extend the ball out, stretch your back out, both sides, and back to the front. And that's how to use a Swiss ball to get a great core workout to become your own gym anywhere, anytime.